Hey guys, it's Hugo, and today I want to show you how to upgrade your stock fans in the Alienware Area 51 R2. Disclaimer, do any of these things at your own risk, just saying. Um, but before you do anything, make sure it's unplugged, there's no power going through it, um, you know, touch some metal or have a static band or wear some rubber gloves or something. Just, you know, try not to short out any of these components because it would be very, very upsetting if you did. So, careful. To do this upgrade, you will need 120mm fans. I've chosen three Corsair SP120 fans. You'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver and at least four 6x32 half inch screws to mount one of the fans to the radiator. The screws supplied with the Corsair fans and the original screws will mount the replacement fans. I also picked up a splitter cable so that the radiator can power the second fan. Also, you will need to remove the bottom support plate that stops it from being pushed over to turn it onto its side and get to the bottom PCIe bracket screws. More on this later. Once everything is protected surge wise, you can remove the left side door to access the internals. Before we start removing fans, we need to unplug the fan header connections on the board. The cables marked in red are the ones that need to be unplugged. The top case fan is sitting on a bracket which has one screw holding it in place. Once the screw is removed on the inside of the case, you can slide the bracket down. Once removed, you need to remove the four screws on the back and place a new fan in its place, making sure that the airflow direction is correct. Then, reverse the removal procedure and connect the new fan connector to the board. With the bottom PCIe fan, you will need to remove two screws from the underside of the PC case. Once removed, the PCIe bracket can then be removed, but this was the hardest part because of the graphics card support mount being in the way. Just take your time, be gentle. Also, having the computer on its side really does help. Also, be careful with the thermal indicator on the PCIe bracket. Just like the top fan, you will need to remove four screws and replace the fan, then reverse the removal procedure, remembering to place every screw back. Moving on to the radiator, by adding a fan to the opposite side, it creates a push-pull configuration, which can lower the CPU temperatures. Unfortunately, when mounting the radiator fan, I found that the quarter inch screws were too short so they did like they'd, they'd come up to there and then they wouldn't go any further so I had to get half inch screws with a flathead to any bit and so and then I have to apply them like so and then when when, I, when applying I have to go through through the fan itself to screw it in tricky okay um, on the motherboard itself there is actually uh, a middle fan one little uh, input and the original input which is for the rear fan. Um, instead of using the middle fan I'm actually decided to go for using like a splitter cable on the LCM fan 1 slot just so it keeps the same RPM on this push pull configuration on the radiator. This is the connection you want to use the splitter cable with. Well, wasn't that fun. Hopefully this helps anybody looking to modify their Alienware, but don't forget, make sure that you have PWM fans, which have four pins to allow for speed adjustment from the motherboard. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.